Hello students. Today I have prepared a video lecture on TMN architecture. Already we have introduced about TMN. We know very well TMN is nothing but F caps module, where F caps stands for fault configuration, accounting, performance, and security management. Basically, TMN architecture defines the interconnection points between the two different networks. It specifies the management functionality among them. TMN also provides management functions for telecommunication networks and different services. We know very well it offers communication between itself and between the other TMN. It also provides the organized architecture to achieve the interconnection between various operating system. If you remember, the TMN was defined by the standard ITUT, where ITUT stands for International Telecommunication Union Telecom Sector, and it was recommended by a standard M.3010. Today we are going to focus on TMN architecture. So let's try to understand what I mean by TMN architecture. So here comes the TMN architecture, where TMN architecture consists of three types or three components we can say. It consists of first the functional architecture, the physical architecture, and the informational architecture. So whenever there is a question based on TMN architecture, one is expected that all these three architecture is being explained in the answer. So we'll try to understand first what they mean by the functional architecture. So here comes the first part of the TMN architecture, which is said to be the functional architecture. So in functional architecture, basically, this is the TMN network right so they are focusing on the functional block they are focusing on the functional block functional block which performs the different management functions so here if you look carefully here five different types of functional blocks are being indicated starting from osp osf mf qaf nef and wsf where osf stands for operation system function mf stands for mediation function qf stands for q adapter function nef stands for network element function and wsf stands for work station function one more important part to be looked into this diagram is that these two functional block which are operation system function and mediation functions are drawn within the TMN block. They are not present at the edges, but these two functional blocks are present within the TMN block, which indicates that these two functional blocks are com these two functional block are completely specified by the TMN recommendations while these three function blocks which are present at the edges are partly specified or defined by the TMN recommendations. One more important part to be noted over here, these functional blocks are being connected with standard reference points and the different reference points which are used in the functional architecture are Q, X, M, F etc which we will discuss later. Talking about OSF, it basically initiates management operations and receives the notification of telecommunication network. Talking about the mediation functions, it is basically responsible for information passing between OSF and NEF as well as the information passing from OSF 
to QF. This function of MF will be better understood if we look this diagram. So here if you look mediation function is responsible for information passing from OSF to NEF or we can say from OSF to QF. The next function block is nothing but NEF. To understand NEF, the full form network element function, one should understand what they mean by network element. Network element means different exchange and transmission system used to transfer the information. And the functions which are performed by that network elements is nothing but network element function. Basically, it performs two different functions which are first primary or telecommunication function and the second management function. Talking about the next functional block is nothing but QF which stands for quadrature adapter function or Q adapter function which connects those TMN entities as it is present at the edge connect those TMN entities which do not support standard TMN reference point which do not support TMN reference point so it is used to connect two DMN, TMN entities which do not support TMN reference point and finally talking about WSF which stands for workstation function it provides a means to interpret the information for management information user. So this was the first part of the TMN architecture which was nothing but the functional architecture. So here, whatever we have discussed, we will try to understand with the help of points. The TMN functional architecture is a structural and generic framework of management functionality that is subject to standardization. From the figure, the building blocks of functional architecture of TMN are OSF and MF which are within the TMN. That's the reason they are completely specified by TMN recommendation. While the other three which are WSF and NEF and QF are drawn at the edges and thus they are partially specified by TMN architecture. The TMN function architecture introduced the concept of a reference point to connect the functional block. And there are different reference points which are Q, F, X, M and many more. Talking about OSF, the OSF block initiates management function and receives notification in terms of the manager agent model. The OSF may be seen as the manager specific function. The next block is NEF as we know very well. NEF we should first understand the any any means exchange and transmission systems and the function performed by any is nothing but network element function and two different functions are first is primary function and the second is management function the primary function is subject of management and support the exchange of data between users of the telecommunication network and management function allows the NEF block to operate in agent specific role. Talking about workstation function block, it provides means to interpret the TMN information for management information user. Next is QF, which is used to connect the TMN entities which do not support standard TMN reference point. And finally, the mediation function which is located to connect OSF with NEF or QF. Next is nothing but the diagram which indicates how different function blocks are connected with different reference points. So here comes the first reference point which is called as X. We will try to understand what is X. X is the interface between two operating system that belong to 
to different domains. So basically it is an interface which is used to connect two different OSF which are belonging to two different TMN or two different domains. Next Q3 interface between two OSF in the same domain. So here if you see in this diagram, so Q is an interface which is used to connect two different OSF and QFF or NEF which are in the same domain. QX is the interface between the mediation function such as RMON where RMON stands for remote monitoring and the agent in the network element and F is the interface to the workstation. So here if you see F is an interface from the OSF towards the workstation. There is one more reference point which is M which is used to connect non-TMN OSF to TMN QF. Talking about the next architecture which is physical architecture which becomes the physical architecture from the functional architecture because in case of functional architecture management functions are basically defined and in the physical architecture whatever the management function which are defined in the functional architecture are actually implemented with the help of different physical equipment and the building block. So next to functional architecture, TMN defines the physical architecture. It can be implemented into physical equipment. TMN physical architecture is defined at lower abstraction level than the TMN functional architecture. A physical architecture elaborates how function specified by the functional architecture have to be implemented between using the physical block. The physical architecture specifies the blocks or components needed to establish the function which was specified in the functional architecture. So basically physical architecture is actually responsible for the implementation of the functions which are defined in the functional architecture. So in physical architecture we need different components or building blocks such as network element mediation device, queue adapter, operation system, workstation and data communication network. So that what, that's what it said in the diagram. In the functional architecture, we build function block and the reference point. In physical architecture, we basically build the physical equipment and actual interfaces between them. And the last architecture is the informational architecture where each managed objects have different things such as attributes, behavior, operation and notification. When attributes define the properties or the characteristics of the object. The operation indicates what operation the managed object can do. The behavior indicate the response on that operation or basically it can be response to the command made on the operation and notification indicates the thing which is generated by the managed object when any threshold level is being crossed. So whenever we talk about informational architecture, these four important points come into the picture. Talking about the information architecture, management of telecommunication network as a whole relies on proper information between the management entities. It can be thought of as an information processing application where the information communicated by various devices have to be understood correctly by the application which means if there is no proper information processing or information communication the management won't be possible that's what they have said that information of communication should be passed properly and different things or different things of the objects have been defined by the attributes, operation, behavior and notification. So with this we have discussed the three different architectures which are nothing but yes, functional architecture, physical architecture and the informational architecture. So basically in the functional architecture, functional blocks are built. In physical architecture, the actual physical equipment are dealt and information architecture are responsible for proper communication of information so that the management of network takes efficiently. Thank you.